All right, fish lots. Now let's talk about some of the fishing gear that you could use and employ in order to maximize your time out on the water and catch yourself some more crappie now that we know exactly where to find them and where to locate them. And first up, first and always, I always recommend purchasing the rod first, and this is going to be no exception. What I really like is the St. Croix Panfish Series rods. This is a six foot extra fast action rod, ultra light, and I absolutely love it. I bring this thing bluegill fishing. I use this to catch myself catfish bait. I love catching bass on this thing. This for me is my go-to rod, but there's plenty of other options out there for you. I actually made a fishing rod tutorial or a buyer's guide, if you will. If you want to check that out, go ahead and click on this link here and you can check it out and it'll take you to a bunch of different rods that I reviewed, some of which are really good for panfish. So next, what I would recommend is some of you may think, oh boy, the reel is the next important uh, piece of this whole setup and you'll be surprised that it's not. For me, it's the fishing line. So this is Trout SOS line. This is absolutely essential. I can't recommend this enough. Whatever you're gonna use, I recommend two pound monofilament. That's it. You could use any other brand out there that you like, but this ultra thin diameter mono is just so important for triggering mass amounts of bites. You'll get more bites on two pound test line than you will on four, six, or eight every single time. The advantage of two pound test line too is that the mono of course is smaller in diameter. So for this case, like we're fishing here, you could actually cast these very light lures straight into the wind like you need to in order to present a natural presentation of the fish and trigger more bites. So first I would invest in the rod, next of course the fishing line, and then of course your fishing reel, which is simply your line management guide right here. So your fishing reel here, nothing Nothing too fancy. I have an Okuma Seamar C10. I absolutely love this reel. I've been using it forever. Super tough, super durable, um, really smooth. I just like this reel and it doesn't break the bank. So super easy setup right here. I got all this attached to a peg float, which I was using in that last video that I'm showing you the footage of. And this is uh, just a very small peg float. If you are crappie fishing and the fish are a little lethargic, I would recommend trying to get the smallest peg float you can. This way, this offers the least amount of resistance to the fish when they hit it. If even this is too big for you, a quick solution to this, of course, is just cut the peg float in half and sand it down. Now you got two small peg floats and that'll work just fine. Okay, let's get into some of the lures that you could use for crappie fishing. I already touched on crappie magnets. I absolutely love crappie magnets. There's just a ton of motion to these lures uh, you can tell right here I'm talking about the lure and it's just vibrating, shaking. It triggers a lot of bites. And I, I really prefer crappie magnets. They're a really nice bait, especially for some finicky fish. Another lure I really like, I mean, you should never leave home without uh, spoons in general, but this is a Sumo Spoon by Sumo Catfish. I really like their products. Uh, everything's linked below, but this is a really good bait. I catch a lot of bait fish with this actually for catfishing and crappie is no exception. So this is more like a search bait. Okay, so when you're really trying to search for crappie, you could use a spoon, you could use a roadrunner jig head right here. These are really nice too for crappie fishing. This is just a jig head with a spinner on the bottom of it. This is just really good for casting out, reeling in real nice and slow and triggering some bites with the search bait. And so a great trailer for something like that that I really like is Midmo Baits. This is just a local bait company. They make their own soft plastics. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check them out. And talking about some search baits, where would I be without leading, leaving out a, a, a beetle spin? So these things are super easy, super affordable. You can buy these at Walmart. Again, you can put anything on this trailer. They do sell ultralight Midmo Baits if you want to look at that. And then, of course, something else that I really have a lot of luck in as well is just using these smaller crankbaits. These smaller crankbaits work great for bass, and they are always really effective lures at triggering those more aggressive crappies. So you can cover a lot of ground with these type of crankbaits. Those are basically the essentials of crappie fishing lures and gear. There are a million options out there. Crappie are the second most popular game fish in the entire United States. First, of course, is largemouth bass. Second is crappie. So there's tons of stuff out there. And these are just some of the basic lures and gear that you can employ to catch you a lot of fish, just like I did here in this video, using a simple peg float, a 164 ounce Bobby Garland jig head, and a crappie magnet. All right, thanks for tuning in, Fish Lots. I'll see you out there on the water.